I do bring you greetings from my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Today we're going to be talking about the naked man in Mark. Many of people say that all the disciples was at the um, Last Supper, but when you go to Mark 4, 14 and 17, it says he came with the twelve. And Luke 22 and 14 says the 12. John 14 and 5 says disciples. And Matthew 26 and 17 through 19 says disciples. But we do know that many times Jesus separated the 12 from the other disciples and gave them important information that wasn't revealed to the others. We also know that there was a personal intimacy between Jesus, Peter, James, and John. That they were present in, during different miracles without the others. And they were the ones chosen to go with him to pray in Gethsemane. While the others were at a further distance in Gethsemane. Because they had more courage and faith. Because Jesus was getting ready to go to the cross. And he had to be surrounded by strong faith. All right? So, um, in, um, in Mark 14, beginning at the 46th chapter, this is after they came to get Jesus in Gethsemane. It says, um, in the 40, starting at the 46th verse, and they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of them that stood by drew a sword and smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Are ye come out as against the thief with swords and with staffs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you took me not, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Now, the, this is our uh, key verses. And they all forsook him and fled. So all the disciples left, and there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body, and the young men laid hold on him. All right, young men tells you these men were not the disciples. They were different. Amen? It says, and he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. Talking about the, um, the young men. So, um, I did some research to find out who this young man was. And I looked up the word for linen cloth because I heard some teaching on it was the cloth that people were wrapped in for burial. Amen? So, um, the linen cloth in Greek is sindon, S-I-N-D-O-N. It's the same cloth that Jesus was wrapped in when he was buried. It is a wrap for the dead, all right? I also find that there were several cemeteries near the garden on the slope of the Mount of Olives. This is the Mount of Olives, that's Gethsemane. On these slopes were several cemeteries. And some people had funerals at night. This wasn't a funeral. This, they had done had the funeral. And they were carrying, these young men were carrying this young man, had him wrapped in his uh, linen cloth to bury him. And, uh... It says, uh, so, you know, what happened? Who was he? This man, this unnamed man following Jesus, was this man uh, that was wrapped in linen cloth to be buried? It was not Mark, as many teach, because why would Mark be walking around naked in just a tunic? It was in, inappropriate for a disciple, we women call them slips. We wear them under our dresses. Men did not go out in public with their linen garment under, uh, on without their robe on top. Amen? Uh, so, uh, let's go to John 18 
and five. When we go to John 18 and 5, it says, this is the same scenario, but this is some important information that wasn't added in Mark. It says, when Jesus asked them, whom seek ye? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto him, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with them. And as soon then as he had said unto them, I am he, they went backward and fell on the ground. The power of the living God knocked them on the ground. Amen. Praise God. So, um, when this young man that was being carried to be buried, he heard, I am he, and the power from his voice that knocked them on the ground. When we go to Exodus 3, 13 through 15, it, I am is God, Jehovah, the Most High, Yahweh. Yahweh means I'm the healer, the ruler. I am the resurrecting power. Amen? So what happened in Mark 14, 51 through 52 is when the young men were carrying this body to be buried, he heard his, he heard this resurrecting power come out of Jesus and he woke up just like Lazarus did in the tomb. He got up and he was following Jesus to see who is this great man that had power to raise me from the dead. And the people, the young men, they were they laid hands on him to grab him, but he ran from them and left as well. So, we need to make sure, saints of God, that we study out the scriptures and not just read commentaries that tell us the thing, which means many commentaries tell us that this was Mark. Through studying, I found out that this was a young man being cared to be buried and the resurrecting power of God's voice woke him up from the dead. When he jumped up and started running off, he looked to see Jesus and the men were that were carrying him, they laid hands on him to grab him, but he fled from them also. I pray that you have gained some new knowledge and understanding of this scripture, and I pray that you have a great and blessed day in Jesus' name. Amen.